Hey guys, it's Darren with East Woodland Survival. Thanks for tuning in today. I've got another really cool pattern for you today. Uh, it's this type of knife sheath. Uh, it's going to be a long for a big blade. I'm actually working on a project. i got a nice little blade blank. And uh, I'm going to put that on and uh, put some handles on it and everything. And this is going to be the sheath for it. Just because I think that's a really cool looking sheath uh, when it all gets done. But uh, the sheath pattern is free. You can get a download below and uh, just print it out on cardstock or regular paper. Okay, guys, just to explain the pattern a little bit, you're going to actually need to cut two of these pieces, these entire pieces, one for the front, one for the back. You're only going to punch holes in the back because this is where the belt loop is going to attach to, is this point in here in the back. So you only want to punch the yellow holes in the back of the sheath only. And you want to punch all holes. I put extra rivets in here. Uh, there's you could actually get by with probably two or four but if you actually want to lace this you know you can actually lace it together instead of rivet it and just using some kind of a you know a lace leather lace to put it together so this pattern can be laced or it can actually be uh, riveted together just depends on uh, your preference today I think I'm gonna lace it together just see how it looks once you have the pattern kind of transferred over and cut out and everything you can see how everything's kind of transferred. I only have holes in one, don't have the holes in the other. I hope you can see that really well. So this is going to be the back of my sheath. It's going to be the front side of my sheath. So the first thing we really need to do is attach the belt loop. And this is the pattern. And this is what it looks like after it's been cut. Cut and riveted. These holes just kind of line up. I'm going to line them up first on here. And you can line them up directly onto the back right here. Like that. It's going to leave you a pretty large belt loop. Should fit a two inch belt pretty easy. So if you're using a ring belt or something, uh, uh, this works out really well. These rivets you can buy. Uh, some of the hobby stores have them. Uh, I think some of the big box stores carry them. Home Depot, Lowe's, that type of stuff. But uh, these came from Tandy Leather. You can also get them from uh, Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to use a small little anvil that I have to attach this on. It doesn't take long to attach this. Uh, you can use a rivet setter. Uh, it's a little tool they make just for this application but I find it works just as well to just pound them together using an anvil and a hammer just to kind of show you now how you do it I just push these rivets up through the back and I'm going to line my holes up with the top here I'm going to push it through as you can see I'm going to line it up again with the top on this push it through like so now you want to go all the way across with these you want to finish up doing the rest of this uh, just to make this pretty secure you don't have to but you know uh, just makes it really secure two of these would actually hold this really well so you know if you want to omit this you can but just to make it look cooler, I'll probably finish this out. But to show you really quick how to lace this up, you just want to kind of lay these two together. Line up your holes that you have punched up. Just like so. You want to take your lace. There's about a million different ways that you can lace this. You can actually do a running stitch that kind of looks like this. where you're just running the stitch in and out like so so where you just run it through and then you can actually come back with this other end that's left and push up through the hole and double stitch it all the way around now another cool method 
that you can do with these is actually this top stitch where you're going to put the stitch around like this all the way around it but you can go all the way around the, the sheath like this just going from the outside like so you can also like say you can rivet this if you wish uh, it just depends on what you're wanting to do and uh, I'm going to finish this one up later but I just wanted to show you the pattern now but this will actually set in when I'm done this blade will set in here like this when I'm done with this the scales and everything I'm going to put on here well guys go download this pattern and uh, it's pretty much got everything on it that you need. I uh, really appreciate you watching. And I hope to see you guys in the woods.